you are welcome to the fourth episode of Secret to a Successful Marriage. In this episode, we are bringing you the five secret love languages. As individuals, each and every one is having his or her own love language. But most of us haven't discovered it yet. As a normal life, we are all from different tribes and different ethnic groups. So therefore, we speak different languages. Some are Elwes, others are Dangwis, Akans, Dagomba, Sisala, Nunumba, and the rest. The same thing applies to love. Each and everyone is having his or her own love language. Now, love is not a feeling, but it's a choice. So you choose to love or not. So these five love languages was discovered by one marriage counselor, Dr. Gary Chapman. In his research, he discovered that we are having two stages of romantic love. At the first stage, it does not require much energy. Every effort, every sacrifice, every price paying is unconscious. The first stage is also known as fell in love. At this stage, your partner is the most top priority among your list. At this stage of love, examinations is nothing to you. Your career is nothing to you. Your parents are nothing to you. But the only person you always concentrate or you always think of is the person you are working with as your partner. At this stage, you can even kill yourself without realizing. You can do whatever you wish or you want to do for your partner. And at this stage of love, you see that your lover is the best person you have on this planet Earth. You wish the wedding date would be tomorrow. You wish you are in your honeymoon because everything is certain and everything is okay. But the problem is the second stage of romantic love. Now, at the transitional stage, you need a conscious attention for you to move from the first stage of love to the second stage of romantic love. And if this can be done smoothly, it's just by discovering your love language. And this is the problem why most of us think the partner we are staying with is not the right person. At this stage, the second stage of romantic love, it needs your conscious effort. It needs your sacrifice. It needs your energy. It needs for you to pay attention price. So if these things are out, sometimes you have a whole lot of doubt within you whether this person is the right one, whether you've made the right choice, or you are on the right path. But those questions you deserve to ask because you haven't identified the love language. So you love in your own way, but you don't love the person as the person love language speaks. 
if you're an airway and you want to have effective communication, if you're even marrying an Akan, you need to learn airway. If you're Akan and you are marrying a Dagomba, for you to have effective communication, you need to also learn Dagomba. The same thing applies to love. If you want to love and love war, well, then you must know how to speak the love language of your partner. These five languages are one, words of affirmation. Now, this words of affirmation, it's just by using statements or verbal quotes. Like, I love you, you are so cute, you are so pretty, whenever the person dressed. She needs to be addressed verbally. So washing a car, spending time with this person is not his or her love language. The second love language is act of service. The act of service, if a person speaks this language, then washing of car, supporting the person in the washing, supporting the person in the cooking, supporting the person in carrying out his or her responsibility is the most important thing to him or her. This is the person's love language. So if you do anything other than this, the person seems that you don't love him or her. So therefore, you need to identify that. The third love language by Dr. Gary is receiving gifts. Now, most people speak this love language. They want to express their love by giving them gifts. So these people don't joke with their anniversaries. They don't joke with their birthdays. They don't joke with their special days like Valentine Day and the rest. So if you do all the other thing apart from giving them gifts, you are not speaking their love language. Now, the cost of the gift doesn't matter. But what matters most is the gift at the special occasion. So you need to identify this love language and speak to your partner. Now, the fourth one is quality time. If someone is speaking this love language, the person wants you to spend much time with him or her. Taking a walk together, to church, to wedding, to anywhere. Now, when you are there with this person, all phones must be off. All television must be off. He or she don't need any divided attention. You must pay full attention to him or her. So if your lover speaks this language, any other thing you do to him or her, he or she seems that you don't love him or her. The fifth one is physical touch. Now the physical touch, it's very important. Those that their love language is physical touch, spending quality time with them, act of service, words of affirmation is not important to them. This is to just tap them, their shoulders. They love in romantic place. You always be in a romantic relationship with the person by touching her. Being romantic in general when we are with this person. So if you are with this person and you don't do these things, it means that you don't love the person. So these are the five love languages that you need to learn how to speak it. So therefore, your second stage of romantic love will still be alive. Because it needs intentional effort. It needs work. And you must work towards it. That is why I said love is a choice, but not a feeling. So you choose to love your partner or not. 
So, in our next episode, we will bring you how to identify your partner's love language. So, thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel so that you get the update videos. If you finish, you share and you leave your comments. Thank you.